Hello, in this video, I will run you through how you can use the ABN web services to look up an ABN in Power Automate and also consume that in Dynamics 365. Now, this could be very handy for checking if the vendor records are correct or checking if a company is still in business. So let's just go ahead and have a look. Now, as you would know, ABNs are the unique identifiers for Australian businesses. But in order to be able to use these web services, you would first need to register to be able to access these web services. So you can go to this particular page. I will share the link in the description. And within a couple of days of registration, you will get the access token. Now, once you have the token, you can start to use this service. They have a couple of different services available. And in this example, we are going to use the JSON service. Now they have an example page where you can test the JSON service. So you can click on this particular link. And here's the page where you can test the ABN lookup. Now here you have to provide the access token. Then you can enter the ABN or use the example that they have provided over here and click on the ABN lookup button. If the ABN is valid, the available details are returned. Otherwise, a message will be received notifying that the ABN is invalid. Now, this page also contains uh, the URL of various types of lookup that can be performed. So before I move to Power Automate, let me just show you what I'm trying to achieve. So here I am in my Dynamics 365 environment and I have an account and I have created various fields over here to consume the results that are returned when I do an ABN lookup. So basically all these fields are just single line text fields and in here we have the message which is a multi-line text so we won't go into the details of how this is created but these are just normal fields that i have entered where i will consume the results now let's go to our power automate and over here you can see that under the accounts table i have created all those fields that are just single line text fields and a message with a multi-line text box where we are going to return the results that are thrown back by the json uh, service now all this is not required i'm just using that um, to show how we can consume that in dynamics 365 all right so now let's just go to our cloud flows so let's just go ahead and create an automated flow here you can provide the flow name and then choose the trigger so here I'll choose the digger trigger when a row is added, modified or deleted. So over here, when I can choose the change type where I can say it's added or modified and the table name would be account as we are going to consume that in the accounts entity and the scope, let's click on organization. Now I want to avoid um, this flow to trigger on any field change, right? So I need to provide the specific field column. The field column is the ABN. So this is the particular, that is the schema name of this particular field ABN, which is pros underscore ABN in my case. Now let's just go ahead and set two variables, one for the access token, that is the grid, and another one for the URL. So click on the new step over here and look for initialize variable and I would like to initialize this grid where this is a string and specify the token number and then optionally change the name of this step set grid now initialize another variable for setting up the URL And this URL, you can find it over here for the ABN lookup. Now to make it easier for testing and debugging, let's just add a new step to compose a request URL. And let's just provide a meaningful name over here. To create the URL, let's just click on URL with question mark and then ABN is equal to the ABN from the input parameter. And then we need to provide the grid. And that will come from the variable that we had initialized, okay? Now the next step is to add an HTTP action. And in the method, we will choose get as the method. 
and in the URI, we'll set the output of the compose request URL. Okay, so this is the compose request URL. Let's just select the output over here. Now, if you want to do some testing, then it's better to create a compose step and insert the body of the HTTP request. Here, I'll take the compose and then insert the body of the HTTP request. So this will help you in testing and debugging. Now, before we proceed further, let's just test this out, okay? So I'll just click on test with a manual test and then provide an avian number over here to trigger the flow. So let's just see what happens here. All right, so it just says that it ran successfully. Over here, you will see the Outback is uh, wrapped in all the embedded commas and brackets and all. So we need to remove this wrapper first. Now, to remove the callback wrapper, we can do that with a couple of expressions. I will include that in the description below. So let's just create a new step of compose and then rename this to remove callback wrapper. And we are going to use this particular expression. Okay, so now we can save this and run the test results again. Click on automatically and run on the previously run test. And hopefully we'll have an output that resembles the JSON. So if we check this, we will see that now we have an output that re resembles the JSON. So over here, there were all, all of these wrappers which are now being removed and the output is what we require for the JSON uh, service. Now copy the results that you see over here and we will use a parse JSON action um, to create a usable format. Let's just click on edit, add a new step over here, find parse JSON. And the easiest way to do is to click on generate from sample and paste um, the results that you had copied from the last action and click on done and here your schema is generated and in the content choose the output of the remove callback wrapper to see everything is working correctly let's just test the flow again now once the test is run if you click on the pass station action you can see the output uh, that you receive from that ABN lookup so we are getting the ABN, ABN status, ACN address state and all Right now, in this particular parse station, you need to make a few corrections because um, the, we need to make the GST as well as the address date to accept uh, both string as well as null. Otherwise, you might face some errors. Okay, so this can be done by providing an array of inputs. So over here we can have string and null. And we could use the same thing for address date. And save. Now, depending upon what you need to do after this step, you can actually check for conditions if the ABN status is active or inactive. And based on that, you can pass the message. So let's just check some conditions over here. Look for ABN status. And if that is equal to active, if this is true, then we'll pass the message that the correct ABN status has been provided. So basically, we'll choose the dataverse and then we will update the row. Table name is account and the row ID would be the current account ID and then we can go to the message and provide the input the output of the HTTP and just rename this action correct ABN provided and do the same action for incorrect ABN so we'll just update the row. OK, 
accounts and take the account id and update the message field and save the flow all right so let's just test this out um, in our front end okay all right so over here let me just provide the abn details for the trustee for pss fund and click on save and over here you will see that since the abn is active so the callback gives me all the right results with all the ABN details, ABN status details, effective from, um, and everything else. Now, what happens if I provide a wrong ABN detail? So let me just delete a few of these here and click on save again. And now you will see that the message says that the search text is not a valid ABN or ACN. So this is coming directly from uh, the JSON service callback. Okay, so what we receive from the JSON service is this message and we have all the fields to consume. So what we can do is we can map these fields to the fields that we have created in Dynamics 365 so that if you want to um, view the results in their separate columns, you should be able to do that. So let's just go to our Power Automate and over here, let's just start mapping the fields so for example for the abn status we can um, map it to the apn status available from the callback uh, which is this and similarly abn status effective from we can select the abn status selected from from the output from the callback so i'll just go ahead and fast forward this and map all the fields all right, so I have gone ahead and mapped all the fields like ABN status, ABN status effective from, ACN, and then address postcode, address state, and all the other fields. Okay, so you can do this for um, the other side of the things, that is when ABN status is not active. So you can do that for that as well. So let's just check this out. If I click on save, and then go to my front end and provide the right ABN. Click on save. And now you will see all the results are in their respective columns as we have mapped um, the, the columns that are coming from the past JSON to the Dynamics 365 columns. So this is how you can um, do an ABN lookup using Power Automate and also consume that in Dynamics 365. I hope this video helps. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself and I will see you in next video.